Look at these wheels with unique copper trim rings and this grill that looks like it'll eat your children and this powerful twin turbo engine and this massive cabin that's bigger than my first house. It's enormous and look at the enormous use of carbon fiber or the stereo which will turn your eardrums into gooey syrup with 17 speakers. It's from Lexicon and they make stereo systems for Rolls Royce. This is the Genesis G80 Sport and it looks like it belongs in a rap video. It's a heavily revised version of the model formerly known as the Hyundai Genesis, but don't call it a Hyundai since they've severed the Genesis name, turned it into its own brand, so models like this one now ditch the Hyundai badge and are sold through their own sales network. Interested? Well, the entire Genesis buying experience is built around a unique new concept. Remember when your parents told you not to talk to strangers or get into their cars? Well, forget that. The easiest way to buy one of these is to go online and have a Genesis ambassador show up with information and the car you're interested in so that you can test drive it. You literally summon a stranger from the internet and get into their car. Let's cut to the chase. You're looking at a very worthy competitor to numerous big dollar luxury sedans, but one that'll leave many thousands of extra dollars in your pocket. A worthy competitor mainly in the sense of generating that chilled out, laid back, relaxing and comfortable driving atmosphere that luxury car fans crave. If you'll use your G80 as a mobile social lounge or a place to decompress and unwind, you're well backed up. That all comes to life on a leisurely drive. It's immensely quiet. Almost nothing upsets the ride quality, which is soft and isolated without making the car feel like a four-wheeled onshore manatee. It rides gorgeously, even on really bad roads and in spite of those big wheels. Further, G80 Sport feels substantial, dense and heavy, largely because it is. And for the shopper, after something safe and solid and sturdy, it'll impress. So, quiet, creamy, comfortable, and very refined. If you blindfolded me, put me in here, and told me I was in a 90 grand Lexus, I'd believe you. Add in the abundance of glass, the enormous panoramic sunroof, and relatively thin window pillars, and you take that all in from a cabin that's airy, open, and feels even bigger than it is. The engine supports leisurely luxury driving too. This 3.3 liter V6 uses twin turbos for 365 horsepower and more importantly, the better part of 380 pounds of torque available from a hilariously low 1300 RPM. Just glance at that gas pedal and you're gushing through city or highway traffic, the engine staying well under 2000 revs and not making a peep. The transmission shifts so smoothly that you wonder if it's shifting at all. As gas-powered cars go, this noiseless, generous thrust is about as close as it gets to driving an electric luxury car. There's also all-wheel drive standard, so you can enjoy all of that in virtually any weather. Of course, as the G80 Sport, all of that luxury stuff is only half of the equation, or maybe about two-thirds of it. Here's the thing, Genesis wants you to think of this G80 Sport as a competitor to something like a BMW with the M package or an F Sport Lexus or an S-Line Audi. Its performance and looks are enhanced, but it is not an all-out performance model with lap times and cornering G-forces as the ultimate priority. So go into the G80 Sport expecting a luxurious cruiser with muscle and handling to spare and you'll be impressed, but go into it expecting an all-conquering performance weapon and you might be a little left out in the cold. Engage sport mode and give the G80 Sport some heck and it plays ball but never gets too excited. Steering heavies up but still lacks feel and that tactile sense of the goings on between tires and the tarmac and there's still a fair bit of work to do at the wheel when firing it around. The suspension stiffens, it's less soft but still fairly soft. The throttle gets more sensitive but the engine still operates with a bit of calculated delay to your inputs. Even the paddle activated gear shifts occur after a brief pause and usually in no particular rush. There's power to spare, in fact it hauls along properly and the engine never sounds overworked even if it's fairly quiet and even if the engine sound you hear is far from a mechanical earworm. Plus it sticks to the road like a smaller and lighter car and rarely feels dramatic but there's still this layer of buttery smoothness around all of your inputs which fails to make it feel truly mischievous and eager. Driven hard, a comparable BMW or Jaguar feels like it loves it. Do the same in the G80 Sport and it's like, yeah, alright. So here's a machine that's neither bothered by nor excited about being driven spiritedly, but one that's expert at quietly hovering down the road with plenty of effortless twin turbo firepower in reserve. 
The cabin is a mixed bag. On one hand, the abundance and quality of materials, trimmings, accents, and effective use of color, texture, and luster are bang right on. Feature content is staggering. My favorites included the vivid and punchy Lexicon stereo with performance you usually pay extra for, and the handy wireless recharging pad in the center console storage bin. The cabin impresses instantly for the generous use of flashy materials and features. It literally has everything, but the overall design and layout is on the conservative side. Take away the trimmings and the materials, and the overall shape and layout remind me of a really big Hyundai Sonata. And that might be an issue when you count the 5 Series, E-Class, and Volvo S90 amongst your competition. Still, the G80 is a standout value for the right shopper. By any stretch, it's a gorgeous, original-looking car and a fresh face. It's smooth and refined in every aspect. It rides and coddles and relaxes you like something much pricier. That price? Well, you're looking at $62,000 as tested, or put another way, about the same money as a 5 Series or E-Class before you add the cost of the features and power plant and sport package and technologies that all come standard in the G80 Sport. And though the interior and handling don't go over the top with wow factor, getting all the goodies and an impressive warranty at this price point will more than compensate for the luxury sedan shopper who's keeping an eye on their budget and who doesn't want to step foot in a dealer. Thanks for watching.